Welcome back, Western Slope. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here at Highline Lake State Park. It's a beautiful day, and I'm here with aquatic biologist for Colorado Parks and Wildlife, Ben Felt. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, we're here on a boat with some fish and a tree. What is going on? What are we doing? So what we have going on here is it's a, a really neat cooperative project that we have going on. Uh, so Colorado Parks and Wildlife, we're working with some local anglers and also a local private property owner who led us into his pond last night to catch these fish here, which I'll be telling you a little more about here in a minute. But there's uh, some largemouth bass in this tank here, and we stocked out about 600 of these guys last night wow. and uh, caught those out at that private pond. So that, that's kind of the first part of this is working with the, the private landowner. So big thanks for him to him for working with us on this. So getting some fish in here is kind of the, the first part of this project. And then the second thing we want to do, this tree here, <laughs> we want to work to improve the habitat for the fish in Highline Lake. Okay. And so the way fish kind of work is they like any sort of structure in the bottom of the lake. So anything that kind of breaks up the otherwise just kind of muddy flat bottom. So anything like rock piles or brush piles, or in this case trees, and it just really gives them a place for, for the smaller fish to seek refuge, for the, the bigger fish to find somewhere to feed, and just really expect that this is gonna increase the, the amount of growth that we're seeing in the fish in high line. And it's all, also gonna increase the survival in the fish. And you can kind of think of it like an aquarium, you know, when you have a sunken ship in there or you put some mm. sort of grass or something like that, that's kind of where those fish concentrate. And they just like this sort of cover and this underwater structure. It's like a playground. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to help anglers as well, too, because this probably will snag a few lures. But overall, it's going to be a huge help for the fishery because um, the fish are going to concentrate on this. They're going to grow better and it's going to be great for fishing out here as well. Awesome. Now, this is going to go in the water as is with the bucket and the concrete and and all. Yep, absolutely. Just like this. And it's a pretty basic setup for a, a habitat structure. All we have here is we, we chop down some elm trees at a local angler's house. So big thanks to all the anglers who have been helping us on this. And we just put them in the, the five gallon bucket here with some concrete. And yep, we're going to kick them loose in the lake, just like you see here. And we have 28 of these structures that we're putting out this afternoon. Wow. And you have yep. plenty of volunteers headed plenty on their of, way out here right yep, now. On their way out right now. Now yep. let's talk about the fish. I yep. mean, how is this going to impact the ecosystem at Highline Lake. So there's already largemouth bass in here and the whole idea with this is to increase those numbers and move some of these bigger fish into Highline Lake because we do stock this lake with largemouth bass and our hatchery section does a great job of providing angling opportunities and they actually stock out the the vast majority of the fish that we stock in Colorado but this was just a, a really neat opportunity because a landowner has this private pond has an overabundance of largemouth bass and then called me, is there anything you can do yeah. to help? It's like, well, absolutely. If we're able to put these fish to work and move them into a public water where it benefits anglers, that's yeah. fantastic. You know, that's a win-win for everybody. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, now let's let's pull some of these guys out. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna put them in the yeah, water, let's right? let's take a look at them. Yep, we're gonna put them in the water. And so let's find a volunteer here. And they don't bite. Nope, they don't <laughs> bite. They do have some spines, but yep, they All don't right. bite. You can actually put your oh. hand right in their mouth like this. So. Uh, Yep, so this is Mr. Largemouth Bass Hello, here. Hello, Largemouth Bass. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the way you tell he's a largemouth Hi. bass is the first thing is largemouth kind of have this stripe running down the middle of them that you can see. Okay. And kind of a, a similar species that we have, um, there, there's a few of in this lake, but not a ton of them, is a smallmouth bass. And rather than having this horizontal stripe, they're going to kind of have some vertical stripes on them. And also, where it gets its name from is it has a very large mouth. I so see if that. you look at the back of the jaw here, it goes back behind the back of the eyeball there if you kind of line up yeah. that back part of the jaw. Whereas a small mouth, that's only going to come about midway to the eye. So this so is a large mouth here. Yep, okay. that's the difference. And then the these difference. are those spines you were talking those about. Those are the spines that got Ooh. me earlier. Yep, up here are the sharp ones. Yep, those dorsal spines there can get you. Nice and slimy. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we going to put them in the water? Yeah, you want to do this one? Yeah. All right, okay. okay. Please don't. Do Bye, I just friend. throw them? <laughs> yep, you can just toss them right in and he oh. will be. Oh, and look at that. And there he goes. Just, just totally changing this ecosystem. Let's do another one. Yeah, let's do another one. You want a few of them? We got a net here. All right. Okay. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yep. So. Yep. And I'll let some of this water drain off a little now, bit so I don't get you soaking wet. But uh, yeah. Oh, all at once. Yep. Okay. All at once. Yep. Hello. It's like Finding Nemo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bye. And there they go. Look at that. <laughs> Swim out of the net. Now. Are the, is this type of um, ecosystem 
balancing necessary at other in other lakes in Colorado? So we've been doing some of this work, particularly in the, the rifle area at Harvey Gap and to a lesser extent, um, so Harvey and Rifle Gap. And what we're finding is it's a really cool opportunity to work with anglers and move fish from, uh, you know, in cases like this, private waters into public waters. Right. And yeah, in cases where there can be more um, predatory fish like this that aren't hampering our efforts with native fish, that's one really good thing about largemouth bass is first of all, we have a net on Highline Lake, so these fish aren't likely to escape into the river and affect our native fish. Right. And if they were to escape, these fish are considered a compatible fish where unlike some of the other non-native predatory fish, these guys don't give us as many problems in the river with our native fish efforts if they were to get out. But, uh, and yeah. they're very popular amongst the anglers. Very popular, they're so much fun. They're so it. much fun to catch, absolutely. I love it. Well, big thank you to all the anglers that are coming out and helping you Absolutely, today. thanks to those guys. Yep, and they're the ones who actually brought this idea to me for a project, so big thanks to them for getting the ball rolling on this, and it's been a really neat project. Awesome, yep. well, where can people go for more information about what we're doing here today? So they can go to Colorado Parks and Wildlife's website, and specifically the Highline Lake State Park website. I'll have some updates on this about what we're stocking and the, the efforts that we're making with the fishery out here, and yep, that'll awesome. all be on the Highline State Park website. Thank you, I all learned right. so much today today from you, Mr. All right. Thoth. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. For all this information and so much more, go ahead and tune into westernslopenow.com. We're going to throw some more fish in the water. <laughs>